What's going on guys? This is Miasin and this is the long-awaited Cyber Dragon Trap updated combo video. So again, deck profile is going to be uploaded tomorrow. And I do believe that this is by far the most competitive version of Cyber Dragon, the most consistent build. And of course, if you have consistency and you're not lacking in power because obviously Cyber Dragon is inherently strong, then you should have pretty much all the tools to top or pretty much win a competitive event. So if you're really trying to go super competitive with Cyber Dragons, the Trap version is the way to go. But anyways, before we get into into this combo video make sure you like and subscribe and now let's jump right into it all right so combo number one isn't really a combo it's rather a flow of execution and i talk about it quite a lot but it's really important to know that core is a self-sufficient card so when you only have core and four utility cards you shouldn't search overflow because if you use that overflow and pop one card your opponent controls great you interrupted your opponent once but you didn't really achieve anything that helps you play the game so what you have to do is search emergency and not use it right away you have no idea whether you want to search core or want to search something else for next turn. So assuming that your opponent either destroys the core or lets it stay on the field, it doesn't matter at all. You can still play the game perfectly just with that core either on the field or in the graveyard with that emergency in your hand. So you're going to be activating emergency to search for that dry. If the core got banished, for example, uh, well, then in this situation, you would have to search another core and then you could search Cyberload Fusion, which could be used right away since you would have a core on the field and a core in the banished. And that would be kind of the second fork part of this kind of flow of execution, like I said. But in the case that your opponent doesn't really do that and you're four other utility cards were good enough to kind of stun your opponent for that turn not really stun i know i i actually hate that term because this deck is not a stun deck it's actually not even a going first deck look at what you can do so you can search that dry which makes all of your cyber dragons level four on level five on normal summon and of course core and dry on our, our uh, cyber dragons on the field and in the graveyard uh, just like the harpy monsters are and yeah you can make nova you can make infinity you are locked under machine only so if that effects gets if that effect of dry gets negated by effect veiler you still cannot make Anaconda and make like Overload Fusion and stuff like that, but you can still go into Nova Infinity and Zeus potentially if you want to do go for that instead. And if you attach a monster, you're going to have even more materials. But even without the ability to attach a monster, you still have four materials under that Zeus, and you can use it twice in pretty much one chain, uh, whatever, <laughs> to, twice in total. But yeah, pretty nice for combo number one. Again, combo number one. Let's get into the next one. All right, combo number two. When you look at this hand, you might be like. Mm, I'm sure there is like a proper way to play it, but I don't necessarily see it. First of all, this hand is actually an OTK if you play Overload Fusion, but if you don't, well, it's going to be a little trickier. You might have to play some bad cards if you want to play it out, but if you don't want to play any bad cards, well, you can still do quite a lot with this hand. Trust me, it's pretty freaking nice. So we're going to be special summoning the Cyber Dragon, normal summoning the core. This could be literally any monster out there. It really doesn't matter. And then you're going to be going for Emergency to search the Cyber Dragon Hurts, and then you're going to be contact fusing for well link summoning for puzzle mino and of course that next turn is going to be very nice here you can go at discard the hurts summon it to the zone it points to and this has an effect to transform the level of whichever monstrous special summon to a zone it points to to anything between level one to eight so this next year could become level 5, and of course it has the effect to revive back a Cyber Dragon from the grave. Well, that's not true. It's a 2100 attack or defense machine monster. And you're going to be going Chain Link 1, Hurts to recycle back the core, Chain Link 2, next year revive back Cyber Dragon, and Chain Link 3, Puzzle Lumino to uh, change the level to 5. So even if your opponent had something like Ghost Bell, there's just no timing for it at all because this is chain blocking completely. And there is just no hand trap that can really be used on Puzzle Lumino outside of the hand traps that don't really care about Chain Link. Uh, chain Link, so effect Valor, Imperm, etc. But yeah, uh, Hertz is going to be searching for that, uh, well, recycling back the Cyber Dragon core. And then you go Nova, detach back the Cyber Dragon or the, well, you could return back the next year or Cyber Dragon. Well, next year wouldn't really do anything because we already use its effect. And Cyber Dragon would just be a 2100 beat stick. So I actually think recycling back the Hertz is the most logical because if it dies next turn, you get to recycle back the next turn and then whatever, special summon the infinity on top. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is pretty nice for a combo that uh, really is isn't that great in terms of it's just explosiveness but it still does quite a lot so let's get into the next one 
All right, so this combo is also very interesting because I feel like I'm showing you guys all the weird hands that you might be looking at and be like, I, I don't know how to play it out because it's way too unorthodox. So you might mess it up if you have no idea what you're doing, but my goal is kind of to teach you how to play it out. Unending Nightmare, even though it's just a what of the majority of the time, it could be like Heavy Storm Duster or MST or whatever, it really doesn't change anything. It, re it really isn't just Unending Nightmare. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, same thing with the Cyber Dragon Hurts. It can kind of be anything, but the overflow is really freaking nice here so obviously if you have like core instead it could still work but you would need like another cyber dragon you're going to see why soon enough anyways we're going to go normal summon the hurts and then make link rebo search that cyber dragon set to pass again it's not a combo combo but it's a trap deck so it wins over time and your opponent whatever he does uh, could be going on a on a full mirror match and then contact fuse mega fleet search cyber dragon set to pass you don't care about taking 24 uh, you have to destroy the uh, back row on end phase and then unending pop your own overflow this is so important and this is the reason why unending is that good because you get to destroy cards your opponent controls with the overflow but get the full value off of the overflow that you're using by popping it with unending nightmare and this is the reason why this card is probably way better than mst in a deck like cyber dragon because mst would just be like a one for one trade here whereas the unending nightmare actually stays so if you have to pop other cards your opponent controls all you have to do is just pay 1000 life points once per chain and you're good to go it's not even once per turn it's once per chain you can destroy like all the pendulum skills your opponent have with a card like an ending nightmare it's absolutely disgusting but yeah <laughs> you're going to be destroying quite a few cards and the overflow is going to be searching for that uh, cyber load so with the bad hand we were still able to get cyber load which summons rampages it's gonna be doing so much um so yeah if we top deck a monster here then our game plan changes because now instead of just grinding it out with a control approach we can actually kill our opponent right away and this trap deck uh, OTKs without committing to a lot of summons so Nibiru does nothing against us at all as you can clearly tell my opponent's playing Nibiru actually he's drawing every hand that I'm drawing because my opponent is myself but yeah anyways Rampage is going to be foolishing for the hurts and core which recycles back a cyber dragon from your grave or searches the bad cyber dragon from the deck but we're going to be recycling back the core normal summon search emergency and the emergency is going to be searching for that next turn, if you want to play the brick cyber ref system you could be doing that uh, so even if you don't draw a monster you could be reviving back the hurts and then make seeger and this is going to be game as soon as you summon that seeger because we can have a 4200 attack rampage that attacks thrice that's absolutely disgusting and through any monster that has less than 40 something at 4000 attack we are going to kill our opponent so that's quite a lot of damage and we were able to do it quite convincingly i want to say so again let's then Let's get into the final combo now. Alright, the final combo, and this would rely on you playing a card like Level Resist Wall, which actually has a place to exist depending on how the format is shaped up to be, because if you have literally nothing, and your opponent is on like super simplified game state, and just needs to get rid of a card like Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, that you can summon with pretty much any monster, look at how you can freaking go plus 10 billion with one level resist wall resolving its effect. So your opponent goes after Burner, Regekir, whatever. I don't care. Pop that Mega Fleet, uh, one of her monsters was destroyed, so we can target it and special summon any number of monsters from our deck. Total level are equal to that uh, monster destroyed. So we can summon quite a lot of monsters. Look at this, man. Summon five from the deck. Their effects get negated, but who cares? Next turn, we get to pop off like crazy. You already know that this is an OTK, by the way. So yeah, Puzzle Mino, recycle back the core, then core search, whatever. It can even get Veilered. I don't even care at this point. Actually changes nothing. Contact Fuse ourself for Chimera Tech Forges Dragon on the Puzzle Mino zone, so now we're level 5, and uh, this is going to be able to allow us to make Cyber Dragon Nova, detach for that next turn, revive back the Cyber Dragon, of course, you already know it, and then make Infinity, make Seeger, and this is exactly 8,000 damage on the board right now, so 42 plus 38 in the form of these two monsters, exactly 8k, and we have an overflow in the hand, but again, this is just like the surface of it, if you want to play like Anaconda and stuff in your extra deck, you could be doing way more damage than that. And I'm talking about like over 15,000 damage with Overload Fusion, but at the current moment, I'm not necessarily playing Overload Fusion in my Cyber Dragon Trap deck, but that's not because I think that Overload sucks. It's because I want to minimize the amount of cards that I don't necessarily want to draw uh, early on in the game. So that's pretty much it for this combo video. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.